Let me have my sugar cookies. Oh my gosh, this this is why. Oh my gosh, yeah, th this is why you don't put cooker in steam holes. She just walked through them. Bun the sugar cookies. Welcome back to another episode of our Sims 4 University series. We are in Brightchester and let's go ahead and check in on Lil Pam. If you guys remember, Lil Crazy Pam is sleeping off what's probably going to be a really bad hangover when she wakes up tomorrow. She had her first shower woo-woos, but also she's kind of feeling sad because like her roommates have all changed. People have moved out to houses, but nobody- Oh, look at these guys working at 4am in the morning. This just shows me just how bad I am at this. But her term, how long has she got left in her term? She's got six days left. Okay, we've got a good time. Our GPA is currently on a B, but we're sticking to just like two courses per term. Like one elective and part of her main uh, psychology course. We're definitely trying to make things a little bit more sensible. The one thing that's kind of vexing me is the whole daily football. Apart from Sunday, she gets Sundays off. I still think it's maybe a little bit much. Oh yeah, by the way, I changed my hair <laughs> in case you guys didn't notice. After having my own short hair, my nose is so red as well because I just took Eva for a walk and it's so cold. But um, when I took my my long wig off and had just my short hair I got so like attached to the idea of having short hair and I actually enjoyed it so much that I was like I'm just gonna go for a shorter wig like it's easy on my life is so much easier now like literally I just followed in the footsteps of Pam I won't be following in her woo woo the sandwich dude in the shower however uh, she can keep that just for herself but today like literally Today, she's not really got a great deal on. I still have to do this convince a sim to do something. I feel like she's gonna wake up with a hangover. So because we've got a free day, I'm gonna get her to do both of her homeworks. But also, I'm so sick of people defacing this that one of the first things I'm literally gonna make her do is go ahead and sort out that statue because it's stressing me out, okay? I hate it. Also, I'm loving this. Oh, someone's having a party. Roommates are having a party. Right after I've had my party. <laughs> Why even try? My party was clearly the best. We finished the whole keg, okay? Also, what I'd like to do is I'm kind of bored of living in halls now like it's annoying oh my gosh he's still here he's literally still here in fact quite a lot of the uh party goers are still wow i mean i might be in bed but the party's still going on okay at 7 a.m in the morning you've got a hand it's their commitment also i don't know why there's literally a pimp here like and annoyingly as well someone's put their homework on my desk so I can't even do homework on my own desk. And my stupid roommate has put like a single camera in the middle of theirs. Oh no, I can move the camera. Fine, I'll just use her desk. Thankfully, I can just avoid everybody now with my nice little fridge. Oh, and I've woken up really tense from sobering up. Okay, not good. <laughs> to be fair, this is how I wake up after a red wine. That is my head in the morning after red wine. Like literally, me and Pam are two. Oh, oh, hello. Two halves of the same soul. Oh, this is my new friend, oh, Helen. Oh, Helen, I'm, Helen's sad. Oh, Helen, let's have a good old, like, let's talk about our problems because both of us are not in good places, are we? Oh, we're having an unpleasant conversation. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm annoying her in some way. I'm sorry, I'm trying really hard. I'm like trying to discuss her interests and stuff, but I don't know. Maybe it's like she's actually going through something that's making her sad. Whereas I'm like spoiled little rich girl that's woken up from a hangover from drinking a whole keg and being like, oh my gosh, yes, my problems are so bad as well. Like our problems are so hard. Oh, I'm trying to, oh, I'm literally dying of hangover. Literally, and now I'm trying to do a Richard to cheer and she just like literally wants to like stab me in the yeah, face. But... Oh my gosh, look at these people. That's a new animation. I've never seen someone fall asleep in a chair before. That's how you know the party was wild, you guys. Wild. Ooh. And she just gone out into the hallway. I wonder if her sadness has anything to do with Zayden. Because these guys were like, when I first moved them in, they started flirting like straight away. And maybe he flirted with somebody else at the party. I don't know. Oh my gosh, and he's just come in and snogged me. Okay, you know what? I said I was going to clear up this today. Oh. Ooh, make an offering for academic success. We kind of need that. Use the research archive machine to learn more. Okay, let's just give the statue a clean because I feel so bad for it. And like, somebody has to do it, you know? I've said I was going to do it from the get-go. How much better? It looks amazing now. No, stop trying to wreck the nice statue. I'm going to go research how to make an offering because that sounds fun. Oh, look at these three cuties here. Let's go chit-chat with them. This is nice because I'm actually like starting to find people around campus that I know and I can talk to. It only took me two terms. This this is another one of your sims that I want to introduce myself to. Oh look, she's come over to come and chat with us. Look, this is another guy that you got, uh, another girl that you guys made. So freaking cute. Oh, she's got a friendship group. Oh, you're doing so much better than me already, babes. Oh, Seth has to go to class. But it's fine, us girls can hang out. Us girls and Chris. Okay, I'm gonna see if they wanna come to, where were the research things? Let's see if they fancy to go to the li library together. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is she doing? 
that's Genevieve. Genevieve's just stripped off and is off for a little wander. Okay, Genevieve, you're, you're, you're not coming with us. Also, I redid the bar. When I went to Pepper's Pub, I was kind of disappointed by it. So I got one from the gallery that's like a refurb of the pub. So I, I want to go check that out today as well. I won't spend all my time in the bar, okay? It's not Broken Dream. Ooh, ooh, we've got an even bigger gang of people. Well, you're from the trailer, aren't you? I recognize you. We're here just to make as many friends as we can. So the more, the merrier. And it said I could research the whole... Oh, why am I feeling sad? Drifting love from jealousy. What does she keep seeing happen? What has just triggered that? Oh my gosh, now she's super sad. Babes, what did you see? Something is making her real sad and the only person she has love with is uh, Dylan. Is it Dylan? I think it's Dylan. Yeah, Dylan. Dylan has a spouse. Dylan... Dylan has a spouse? He was... He was my love interest a minute ago. He wasn't my boyfriend. But his spouse is one of the vampires I had from the last series. From vampires. Who I literally saw in my student halls. Okay, great. Okay, well that is super annoying. I said he'd break my heart. I just didn't think he'd do it this efficiently. Thanks, MCC. Oh look, I'm talking to my girls about my broken heart. Yes, we love girls supporting girls. This is great. The mysteries of statues. <gasps> Hot pause. I got her to research Gibbs Hill Mysteries. This, Gibbs Hill's Urban Legends. And it says there is a legend around the locals about the iconic quad statues for the University of Brychester and the Foxbury Institute. It said that if students offer gifts to their receptive, uh, respective statues, it could offer them luck with grades and academic success. Desserts and baked goods are said to bring the most good fortune. Ooh, but it may just be spread by a resourceful anonymous local with an affinity for sweets. But I am hungry. But where can I get baked goods from? Oh my god, the library's popping off. Okay, so time's ticking on and I've literally done none of the things I said that I was going to do today, uh, which is annoying and lazy. So... Where can I get baked goods? I don't have a, I don't have a kitchen. So it's not like I can bake one myself. I know where I can get baked goods. I know where I can get baked goods. <laughs> I only need to go ahead and go to Magnolia Promenade to the Mama Bear Bakery. That's where I get my baked goods. <gasps> no. What? Okay, I lost everything. The issue is the bakery. I can't even load the bakery in build mode. Okay, we right back at the beginning. At least this time I won't damage my relationship with Helen by annoying her with my rich girl problems. <laughs> However, I also noticed that everything was so slippery. Below average shower woo woos. That was embarrassing. You're just lucky no one got hurt. Okay, sad beginnings to the day. I still have to work out how to get a cake because there's no kitchen. So I can't just buy one. However, I'm gonna use the day to be more productive. I have a second chance. We don't always get to turn back the hands of time. I'm gonna use my time more wisely. Oh my gosh, and look at freaking Dylan keg standing this girl and then just yeets her onto the floor whilst a violin plays. We need to move out! Do I know anyone that lives here? I do. I know a few of these guys. I'm gonna travel to this house because I think they're gonna have a kitchen. Oh yeah, we definitely met this girl in the bar. I kind of feel like I didn't invite her to my party, which is sort of awkward, but oh my gosh, kiss hands of Seth. Seth's feeling sad. Don't be kissing him. Make him feel good. Give him his own soccer ball because he's always playing with you. He'll really appreciate that. And then these are some of the other people living in this house as well. We're definitely going to get ourselves more friendos. This is one of the guys that was at the party. And honestly, he is absolute pure cutie pie. So we're going to introduce ourselves to him. And then we're going to be like, yeah, we're going to use your kitchen. Please don't throw us out your house. Oh my gosh, you guys don't have a stove. You guys don't have a stove. There's no stove. Okay, there's no stove here. <laughs> what? I'm gonna have to temporarily get a stove. I'll get rid of it because I think the reason they don't do it is so that they don't burn the house down. But I need to cook a cake, okay? I need a cake. These guys have got it so much better as well. I want to live out in a place like this rather than the garbage that I have to put up with. Look, I'm gonna put it outside. And let's bake some sugar cookies. Oh, we've learned that Jordan is ambitious. Are we, are we meant to be ambitious? We don't act very ambitious. Yeah, we are actually also ambitious. <laughs> you wouldn't think, but we are. But everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're so inappropriate. You're so inappropriate. Please stop. No, I must continue. Oh, look, I also don't like the Satan guy. I kind of feel like he definitely broke my friend Helen's heart, I'm just saying. Also, Jordan's doing biology. Since we're feeling like low about the whole, um, what's he called? Feeling low about this guy whose name, I can't remember, the whole Dylan situation. We're gonna ask Jordan for advice, uh, because I feel like getting advice from a handsome man would definitely make you feel a little bit better. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna hope that he doesn't throw us out the house because we, we need to bake these sugar cookies, okay? But time is a ticking. Why did I just get $33? Did he just feel so sad? 
that he just paid me? I don't even know. Okay, enough is enough. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. Don't do it! Take the cookies! Take the cookies. Are they still in there? They're still in there. She can't get out the house. This is good. This is good. Let me have my sugar cookies! Oh my gosh, this this is why. Okay, th this is definitely why. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Please don't kill them all. Extinguish, save them all. Oh my gosh, yeah. Th this is why you don't put her currency in holes. She just walked through them. Freaking Daenerys here just walked through the whole thing. Burn the sugar cookies. That was an absolute disaster. And they've kicked me out of the house. Okay. So that plan um did not work, I would say. Oh my gosh. An IK fireworks? Oh, there's a match. Oh my gosh, it's an esports game. Oh. Guys, 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 bun football. Let's go to an esports game. Let's do it. Even you. Fine. Oh, this is so cool. Um, surely enjoy yourself more. You're at an esports game. I know you're missing work. No, don't leave. You got to pay for it twice now. Oh my gosh, go to your stupid esports game. I feel like I'm gonna get kicked from the team at this point, but it's a bit much anyway. And to say she's at an esports game, nothing's going up. Her fun's going down. Is it just that trash? What's even the point? What's the point if it's not fun? I I don't get it. Oh, and we lost. Oh, well, that's just the icing on top of a garbage day. Oh, well, even if we lost, even if you're sad about your love life, you've got to be happy with your friendship group, at least. Like, this this is a cute, wholesome friendship group. And Helen, who helped us with our piercing. I'm kind of wondering if, like, everyone has such good hair. I want her to change her hair color. Uh, but for now, she really needs a toilet. So I'm going to go ahead and send her home. I might just sneak a grill in temporarily to my own dorms so I won't get told off for doing it. And look, she's actually come home feeling really happy from pleasant conversations and deep connections with her new friends so that is seriously cute i'm just gonna like just i'm just gonna sneak one in at, at the bottom of my roommate's bed just just real quick sneak one in just so i can try and bake this stuff again she's totally freaked out by him oh, she's thinking about her dad her dad who hasn't even called and been like, how's uni going? How, what are your grades on? Can I offer you some monetary support? No, nothing. Nothing from dad. Oh my gosh, and we have sugar cookies. Okay, don't be eating one. Just put the whole thing in your inventory. Okay, and it's like 4 a.m. in the morning, so hopefully no one will see us. <gasps> and they've defaced it again. Oh my gosh. Oh, there is one. Is it you defacing it, Cameron? Is it you that's been doing it this whole time? I don't think you go to this university. You go to the other one. How dare you? Well, our uni is way better than yours. Don't come and wreck our statue. What do you call Cameron? Stupid Cameron. You stupid crabs. Crabs suck. Dragons, like, who would win in a fight between a dragon and a crab? It would definitely be us. Like, let's face it. Oh, he's still saying hello to us after that. Okay, I kind of feel bad now. Oh, I feel bad. He's actually a nice guy. <laughs> okay, and then let's make our sugar cookie offering. Vegan cookies for them. They'll either love them or hate them. Okay, we, we not only offered it, but we also cleaned the statue up. Where is your offering? Okay. Oh my gosh, it actually disappeared. Okay, okay. Wow, that was so much effort for me as well. I'm just saying. Oh, why don't I give it some stuff from this as well? Oh, look, they just, oh, did they not want that one? It's just, a... oh, what? It just disappears. That's so bizarre. Oh my gosh, what? I'm like, where did she just whip out a desk from? Oh my gosh, these people are literally about to debate. And literally, she's been sat doing her homework and stuff here for ages. No one started debating. <laughs> this is the worst debate ever. And I think somehow I... Oh my gosh, I'm the one who's debating. And freaking Armado here just pulls out a guitar. Oh my gosh, the debate showdown will end in one hour. Oh, it's up to me to just start debating. Aren't they meant to be judges? I'm also just debating my friend Luna. I feel like literally we're just like banter in here, just been like, no one's debating, so we'll just become like the debaters instead. And we're just stood there, stood there, having a bit of crack, having a debate because there ain't no one else doing it, you know? Okay, the everything's literally disappearing as we're debating. Oh, I debate domination. I actually won the debate though. It was definitely just crack though. She's a bit embarrassed from losing it, but I'm like, look, look at all these pictures of me winning you. Do you remember when I won you here in this debate that we just did? But no, we're friends, okay? Well, I'm trying to be a friend. It's just banter. It's just banter. Just good crack. I think we should go play some beer pong. It's a weekend, okay? It's Saturday. We should definitely go play a bit of- Oh my gosh, the rain. The rain in this neighborhood is bad. Oh, uh, soccer practice in an hour. Mm, uh, so boring. And oh my gosh. Just got a message from Seth. I heard you were kind of down today. 
throwing some petals at the romance festival might be just what you need. Okay, it's kind of intense going just the two of us, Seth. So why don't we just bring some, some friendos as well? Does this mean I'm skipping soccer practice three days in a row? Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> but I kind of don't mind because I'm enjoying like having a friendship group so much. Because it's the romance festival and because we're off to go throw some petals, pink tinted hair, just for a bit of uni fun, you know? Give her a little, little pink blush for the festival as well. She's getting into that romance mood. All of and banterous sakura tea. I know it's a little bit outside of the regular uni experience, but we may as well while we're here. I'm also asking, okay, okay. Yeah, the townies are gonna be wearing these a lot now. She's also just filling her bag, <laughs> filling her bag with sakura tea. I'm asking what my romantic destiny is. I noticed that Seth didn't grab tea. Everybody else did, but uh, Seth did not. Vibrations show a tall, dark stranger in your near future. Tall, dark stranger, huh? Oh my gosh, and I'm throwing petals on him as well. He's in a flirty mood from his tea. Oh my gosh, he's just going in with a flirt. Okay, he's going in with a flirt. I kind of feel bad because Seth invited her to the romance festival. He is like nowhere to be seen now. And instead, this dude, this Jordan dude is hitting on her instead. Embrace. That might be a little bit much. Oh my gosh, she just confessed that she found him attractive. And then he's saying the same thing back. I'm, I'm just leaving these guys to it. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> How is this? Does this always happen at the romance festival? People just get like really carried away really quickly. But there's an awful lot of hugging going on. He's like, I'm so sorry I threw you out the house for eating sugar cookies. That was wrong of me. I'm sorry. And oh my gosh, I'm blowing him a kiss. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at these two kissing over here. Seb! Oh, it's Seb and Zendaya. Oh my god. It's actually Seb and Zendaya. That interaction is so... Oh, okay, he's coming in interesting look, let's face it. But yeah, I kind of feel sorry for um, Seth. I don't know where he's gone, but like he invited her here one on one to like a romantic festival. But she is like football zoned Sage and Makora here as well. Wow, that is the stupidest interaction. I need to get rid of that. Oh, and okay, slaps going on over here. But she's so much made him. Oh, look at his sad face. She's made him like the guy that she just kicks the football with. I don't think she really understood his intention. And now he looks so down and sad. <laughs> and these two are just flirting like so hard right in front of him. Look at my boy's face. Oh my gosh, the poor baby chicken. The poor absolute yeah, baby yeah. chicken. Meanwhile, this guy's been a complete stud, let's face it. And she is actually just loving it so hard. I kind of feel like her hair's not pink enough either. I want to go more pink with it. The thing is, she finds flirting really fun. So like, it, it gives her loads of the fun interaction. Oh my gosh, kiss. Oh! After that kiss, he just ran. I, I think maybe oh. Seb has a crush. However, uh, Pam is kind of super ignorant to it. But well, as long as you have a good time, Pam. How about you get the whole gang to the bar? Why don't we do that now? Okay, let's end this and let's go play some beer pong. We're playing teammate beer pong. He's in his feet. Okay. And it's meant to be us two versus Seth and his, col his, his like classmate Kira. There's no music in this bar though. Why, why are places always so devoid of atmosphere, I swear. Oh my gosh, that was an absolute banger of a shot. Surely one of you has to drink that now. Yeah, okay, obviously it's me. Obviously it's me that has to drink it. Oh, and oh my gosh, where I literally just threw the ball at myself. Why am I trash at this? Oh, and I had to drink again. She's really good at it. Kira is properly good at it. What are you guys celebrating? Uh -oh. Woohoo! Well, I'm glad you were able to do that. Are you guys kidding? Where were you even gonna go for woos here? Oh, there's a bedroom upstairs. They were gonna go up here. But I'm so glad that they weren't able to do that. Crazy lady, you literally just did one last episode. Just chill for a bit, okay? And get your butt to bed. We're gonna go ahead and do another sugar cookie offering. I don't know if this is working or giving me anything, but I get the focus trait when I do it, so I'm like, why not? People have found out I nearly hooked up with Jordan, so that's cool. Actually, she would have done if she could have got to the bed upstairs. What a wreck. What an absolute wreck. Ooh, look at this. I've also decided to give her Lila Cat to match her eyes. Just while we get ready for the day, I'm gonna have to work on my presentation all day, but I'm kind of bored of her outfit. She'll be wearing the same outfit for a while as well. As well. We can stay kind of like relaxed uni vibes, but I don't see why we can't have a little bit more fun with our outfit. Ah, that's totally cute. I love that. That's cute. Uni style. Love it. Oh, she looks so cute. I've given her chap lips because she's still a uni student. I keep, all the cookies keep being normal. I'm not sure if they want like real good cookies, you know? So <laughs> she's gonna eat them as snacks during the day and keep trying to make like an excellent one. She has done an awful lot of bacon though. Her roommates are gonna love her actually. Here you go guys. <laughs> 
Have some more cookies. <gasps> and look at this, she just got a text from someone saying, I don't want to pass moral judgment, but I heard you were caught cheating on your partner. You should try and keep your private affairs more private. What? I didn't cheat on my partner. He's got a wife. How am I the bad guy here? Typical, the girl always gets judged. We need to move past that as a society. But I think she's about to finish her presentation. So that's cool. <gasps> Look at her presentation. Oh my gosh, it's got a knife on it. It's got like a creepy old dude. It's got a little toddler. It's got a brain with two halves on it. Oh, and these ones are excellent quality. Oh, you can even decorate them. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, look at them. Look at those things. Okay, let's go off of these and then we'll arrange our presentation some more and then call it a night. She's also sick from eating trash food all the time. <laughs> the poor thing. Okay, pretty awesome. Like, that is a good offering. Any statue gods gonna come in? No, no statue gods, guys. What is that? Something to dig. Some dude on his bike. But that's it. I was kind of hoping something might happen because I feel like this is linked to the secret society. I thought cleaning it would make them come, but obviously not. <laughs> but never mind. Let's just go start a presentation. Get a lonely night and go to bed. She has been disgustingly sensible at the moment, let's face it. However, I do love like her style development since she first arrived at uni. I think she's looking super cool now. <gasps> oh my gosh, no way. No way. No way. Oh my gosh, gang. Gang, 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 they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here! Forget the presentation, forget everything, forget everything. Stop, 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 what do I do? Secret society member. Oh, are they coming to my room? Oh my gosh, my door's locked, my door's locked. Oh, I like to lock everyone else out. Are they gonna come in? Oh my, God. look, look, they're like, you deserve so much better than this. Give me the world. Oh! <laughs> it's happening! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> we visit on behalf of those who greatly appreciate your generous offering. If your heart is pure, we invite you to learn our secrets. Okay, definitely, 100% teach me and my lavenderness, everything. <gasps> you just sneeze glow dust on me. <gasps> no freaking way. Pamela is now a member of the Order of the Enchantment. She has been given an official robe and mask. Where's my mask? Put it on! Oh my gosh, what are these things? What is glowing around me? Oh my gosh, there's like freaking dragonflies in my room. Can I grab her? Put it in inventory. Oh, I just put the rug in. <laughs> what are these things? I'm so confused. The rug can come back. <laughs> what is happening? Ah! Oh, the order of the enchantment. Officer Harv offer, offer harvestable at ritual altar. Offer a metal and tend to the sprites garden. <laughs> what does this mean? Ritual altar? Where is the ritual altar? Okay, we're gonna have to find all this stuff in the next episode. I've got five days to do these ritual sprites. Oh my gosh. Maybe I just don't have access to the mask yet. I hate that her hair doesn't come down through it. That's really annoying. Like, I'm hoping someone mods like a, a hoodless version. But we did it, guys. We joined the secret. Secret society. Let me know if I should focus on that for the next episode. I also want to get a moved out before the end of term, so we need to do that too. Hopefully, you guys like this episode though and more of Pam's antics. If you did, please give this video a big cheeky thumbs up. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!